All right, so we are out here on the Butler chain of lakes. It's all cloudy and kind of misty. So may get some little water drops on the, on the camera lenses today. Don't really care. We're out here fishing with some return customers of mine from Georgia. Um, throwing some wacky rig DOA Cinco type baits so far this morning. We got, it's a little bit different today. We're here the third week in October and it is our first cold front of the year is getting ready to come through. And by cold front, I mean it's going to get down to 60 tonight, which is freezing for Florida. So these fish should be on fire today. We already got one fish in the boat, a little pound and a half were caught out here on this underwater point. But we're going to be out here all day today if the weather lets us be out here. Um, and we should catch a whole bunch of fish. Try and get some big ones. Stay tuned. There you go. I was just about to switch sides of the boat too, Sean. Look, yeah, a little, little schooler. You know what I'm saying? That's the loud one. Get down in. I should try to actually nah. lift this one this time. Oh, it's because all that grass. Can't around. tell on the camera, but the guy holding the fish is actually almost seven feet tall and has giant hands, and that's a four to five pound largemouth right there. Oh, almost a... Almost a double. Almost a double. They're waking up. They're letting the kids eat first. To get him in that corner of the mouth. Small bit of redemption yeah, there as I took the lead. <laughs> like 30 seconds. Get it out? Yeah. Lots of little schoolers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another giant coming to the boat on the wacky rig. Another four pounder. Just kidding, it's not four pounds. So what we're doing here is we're on the Butler chain of lakes and there's a big flat here in front of us that's right out in the middle of one of these lakes. There's a big flat out here that's 10 to 12 feet deep. It's got pepper grass all over it, scattered pepper grass. And it kind of comes to an underwater point here and then out here it's all 15 to 20, 25 feet deep. And there's usually a lot of schooling fish out here. They're chasing around little minnows and shad and blowing up all over the place. It's overcast right now. Like I said earlier, it's the day before our first cold front of the year is coming through. And the fish are not coming up that great, but we're dead sticking a wacky worm. I actually have them on two aught kale hooks that I usually use for shiner fishing when we're using our live bait. But I found they work great out here for a wacky rig. So we're just throwing those wacky rig um, Cinco type baits from DOA. It's the five inch uh, CAL worm and letting them sink down, count, kind of counting them down and then giving them a twitch every once in a while. And we've caught five or six so far. Five or six, nothing big. There's a lot of small fish mixed in with these, uh, with these fish here and you just got to weed through them. But that's what we're doing. I got them dead sticking a Cinco type bait or the DOA CAL and I'm just throwing a spinner bait to see if they'll bite that, which they're not biting that right now. Little sun pops up, pops out through these clouds, and they'll start biting pretty good. Where you just caught that one was about the same place we caught those other couple. You can almost, when we get on a good school of them though, you can almost just throw that thing out there, engage your reel, and sit there and never move it. And it'll get almost all the way down to the bottom. And he's, he's got it, doesn't he? Bye. Yeah. He's swimming at the boat. Another schoolie. I think he made him mad. So we're catching fun fish right now. The 
if you guys have watched him in videos about fishing the butler chain, it's always offshore fishing. We've been out here on this flat, caught six or seven this morning, little guys, little, you know, pound and quarter, pound fish, schoolers. They're not schooling that great. Um, we're going to run over one of these other lakes, fish some offshore, offshore grass humps, see if some of these bass are out here staging. Um, they're always staging here, but we're going to go hit some more stuff, see if we can get some bigger fish in the, in the boat, because our best five right now weigh about four and a half pounds, and that's not that great. But we're going to move on and hit our second spot. There you go. There we go. Ooh, can I just pull some drag out? Uh-oh. When you get about six feet of line out, you're pretty much That's done. Good, oh, yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Don't, don't nice. Yeah, don't, don't, don't reel anymore. You got plenty of line up. And when you bring him up, finally, don't try and lift him out of the water. Just get his head up to the surface. That's good. Yeah, that's good right there. Oh, stay on. That's a big one, dude. Jeez, please. Open that mouth. That was a nice fish. Nice. Dude, look where he's hooked. Right there in the corner. Right there in the yeah, edge of his mouth. Hooked, yeah. I mean, he had it in a good spot, but there you go. Nice one. What's that? That was video. Three? Three and a half. Yeah, you want to keep that one for a minute, or is that too small still to put too in the small? Well? we'll put them in the live well, and uh, that way we can get like a group shot with some good fish. <laughs> we'll hopefully add to some. Yeah. You think that was only three? Three and a half. Yeah, it looks bigger in the water than Yeah. He was coming up, he looked a lot bigger. Yeah, he did. He just popped him there. He hard, didn't he? He did. I felt him nibble. And I kept felt him nibble. I thought yeah, I that's, had him. When you, when they, let me fix that. When they eat that thing, you got to let them eat it for a second. Yeah. These Florida bass I was, are in no hurry at all to swallow their food. I tried to swipe him a couple times. That's why I kept going to that same spot. You that warm up? Yeah. It was just twisted around it. We're gonna release that fish, but that was a pretty good fish, especially compared to what we've caught so far today. So a lot of times when I'm guiding, we'll put fish in the live well, and at the end of the day, we'll take a picture. You know, everybody wants a picture of their fish, so we're gonna release them later. That was a good three and a half pounder though. Same deal out here. Yeah. This point here extends out like 300 yards out. And then all those holes and humps and everything that I fish are on the other side. Okay. And uh, I don't, this point's so textbook, oh, hang on. it's so textbook looking, people are always fishing it. And I normally don't fish it, but the past few times I've been here, I'll kind of start out here and work my way over to this hump, and we kind of catch more fish working our way over to the hump than we do when we get on the hump. So, since we're, oh yeah, sorry. Since we're right here, we're gonna start here. Okay. Anywhere's fine? And you can throw wherever you want. It's just a big old grass flat. It's a point, but it's not, you know, we're not fishing a deep side, and we're just up on top of the point. Cast wherever you want. On, on that lake we started on when they start schooling, I don't get that excited because most of them are small. Oh, but but here when they school, they can you can get in like five and six pounders sometimes. So I get a little bit more excited about that. Right See, right yeah, right where the pelican sees them. Go away, go away. Yeah. See my waypoints we're coming up to? Yep. We're going straight at them. Right. You got one while we're going 100 miles an hour? Oh my goodness. It's a big one too. How in the world did you get a bite when I was going that fast? <laughs> he just started a new technique called burning a wacky rig Senko. <laughs> Do 
Do you feel bad? No. Do you mean? For these guys? Oh. So far? That's, that's a decent one. He, I thought he was real big when he jumped. Yeah, he jumped. That's a good two pounder though, two and a quarter. Not bad fish. Got him? Nice one. Not quite live well worthy. No. But he's a decent one. He looked bigger. Were you just dragging him behind the boat? I was. I was reeling in. I was trying to, I had just cast when you started going and I didn't realize you were going. And he just came up and waxed it? And he, I was reeling in and he just jumped up, grabbed it and I saw him and I said it. Let's see if I can get him again. That's his, it's his primary residence. I don't know how often he's there, but that's his main house. There's one on the spinnerbait. Ooh, ooh. Just strip drag out. Well, he's not as big as I thought he was, but do you see him? Do you hear him strip drag out? He didn't really hit it that hard. He's an aerobic sucker. Yeah. Nice fish on the spinner bait. Booyah. <laughs> you warmed him up for me. So, hey, I, got, I gotta get a hook out. Okay. Alright, see ya. Go ahead, man. Ooh, I got it. Out there. Go ahead, man. There you go. Yeah, no, no. I got him. I got him by his lip. He's bleeding all over his Yeah. Yeah, this fish here got hepsy real bad. He's no, I'm kidding. That eye <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a little belly on him. Yeah. For a he looked bigger in the water. Three quarter pounder. Did just jump out of the water back on the boat? Yes, he did. <laughs> I threw him in the water and he turned right back around and jumped in the boat. Do it again. Come back. Come here. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> yeah those doa uh we're worms are so fish. good Baits so we're getting good. quite oh we got another one on oh is that a good one yep. oh hey i gotta go see. that is a good one it's a nice fish Sean's best one. Not a bad fish. Nope. We'll stick them in the live well. About three pounds. Right in the corner. Man, these shiner hooks, these two alt kale hooks really, I think, do a good job with that Senko. Just, you had it right. Just pull real hard. No, turn it the other way. There you go. Yours, yours are still bigger. <laughs> I really hope you should. I would. There's another worm. Jump. Pretty sure I got one. Yep. I think yours is bigger. That is better. Let me get mine off. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice for today. It's time to take out some drag now. Yeah, these fish pull, don't they? It's all the fertilizer from all these manicured lawns is mutated. Man, I thought he was bigger than that when he yeah. was out there fighting, didn't you? When you yeah. set the hook on him, dude, he just stopped. Yeah. Do we have 20 yet? I have yeah, we have 10. Yeah. yeah, you have two, and how many have you? That would be 18, and then you probably at least, what, four or five sets? Yeah. You got five, right, Kevin? I, I think four or five, I'm not sure. On that one? Yeah, that that one five. 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 That one there? Oh. What you do? What you do? I can get him. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. You want to flip him? Nah. What's wrong? Now we all really got one. Yeah, it is. It's a decent fish. 
på nära. <laughs> så har jag inte. Här är det I don't want to catch the good one though. I didn't do nothing with that thing. I threw, I I threw that I fluke out there. Back to it. I'm sitting here telling fishing stories. And uh. It's a good fish right there on a fluke. There's dead stick in it. And then there's just not paying attention and letting it sink to the bottom. Mm. It's dead stick in it. Now we went back the other way. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you ever let go. Oh, it's a big one, too. It is a big one. Holy moly. Oh, hell. Can I lift no, that he for did, you? No, he did let it go. Then he came back and got it again. Oh, yeah. Caught this fish the other day when I was shiner fishing here. You think the same fish? Yeah, it's the same one. He's skinny. Big mouth, though. Yeah. He, did, he fought about like this, too. Barely. Look how skinny this fish is. That fish could weigh six pounds easy, and he probably weighs like four something. Yeah. Look how close his eyes we, are. We caught the same fish. Shiner fishing here four or five days ago, and it caught about like this. How much is he Four and a half. Because he's got no body. Yeah. It's not a bad fish, though. Just no, I mean, can you imagine if that fish had a gut yeah. like that? Yeah. What did we? You got no shoulders on it. Nothing. If it stopped eating baits with hooks in it, it could probably get bigger. <laughs> yeah. So we are done for today. See how hot and tired they are from all the fish we caught? <laughs> they can't even stand up anymore. We probably caught, how many weeks today? It was close to 30, wasn't it? Yeah. Close to 30, caught a lot of small ones. You probably won't see all the ones we caught today, but we caught them all in artificial lures. Um, Senko type bait, wacky rigging it from DOA. It's called a, it's a five inch CAL. Caught some on a watermelon red fluke and red eye shad from Strike King. And what else did we catch them on? Spinner bait. Yeah, I think bait. the, the, the Senko type bait ended up being the, the best thing we caught them on, but we had a good time today. First cold front of the year. It's not cold at all. It's actually about 90 degrees out here, but it's supposed to cool down. It moved through this morning. It was muggy and and overcast, and now it is a uh, real dry out. And bluebird skies are sitting in. But we had a good day. The fish were real active. I fished with these guys before, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.